Petinosaurus, meaning winged lizard, was a genus of pterosaurs that lived during the late Triassic period. It was one of the earliest pterosaurs and was small compared to later flying reptiles such as Pteranodon or Quetzalcoatlus. Pterosaurs had strong bones that were also very light, allowing them to have large wings but very light bodies. These reptiles possessed wings that were made of skin that was stretched between the arms and legs. The wings had a large surface area, although they weighed very little. This is unlike birds' wings, which are covered in heavy feathers. This combination of large size but small body weight made these flying reptiles accomplished flyers. The earliest pterosaurs possessed long, stiff tails that helped them make precise movements while flying. Petinosaurus utilized its wings to hunt insects in the air. Before pterosaurs evolved, numerous other types of reptiles had appeared that were capable of gliding between trees, like present-day flying squirrels. However, pterosaurs were capable of flapping their wings, allowing them to take off from the ground and keep themselves in the air as long as they needed. The large wings also meant they could glide in the air on the air current and save energy. The first fossil remains of Petinosaurus were discovered in the 1970s in the Italian Alps by German paleontologist Rupert Weil. This discovery led to great excitement, as these remains belonged to the then oldest known pterosaur, and they were also extremely well preserved. However, it is still only known from two incomplete skeletons. Petinosaurus or a similar species may have been ancestral to later forms of pterosaurs such as Rampharynchus and Pterodactylus. Pterosaurs were members of the archosaur family of reptiles, which also includes crocodilians, dinosaurs, and birds as well as several other bizarre creatures such as Etosaurs and Phytosaurs. Archosaurs evolved from basal forms, such as the early Triassic Euparcaria. These archosaurs would later branch into two main lineages, one leading to crocodilians, and another leading to birds. This lineage is called Avametatarsalia and includes both pterosaurs and dinosaurs, including their descendants the birds. The earliest fossil remains of dinosaurs and pterosaurs date to around 230 million years ago. However, the evolutionary history of pterosaurs remains murky as there is a lack of transitional fossils between earlier archosaurs and pterosaurs that were fully capable of flight. They may have been closely related to a late Triassic archosaur called Spheromoclus, whose fossil remains have been discovered in Scotland. Pterosaurs likely evolved from superficially, lizard-like archosaurs that habitually climbed or lived in trees. These animals would gradually have gained the ability to glide between trees, using the thin flaps of skin that ran between their arms and legs. Their descendants eventually evolved the ability to fly. Several gliding reptiles are known from the late Permian and early to mid-Triassic period, including Silurosaurus and Cuneosaurus, but they were not closely related to pterosaurs.